In this video, we are going to understand what is a grassland and where do we find them. Grasslands are basically flat, fertile land dominated by grasses. You can also consider them as an ecosystem where you will only find grasses and shrubs. You will hardly find tall plants or trees. It's bare minimum. Now, grasslands are known by different names in different parts of the world. In Northern Asia and Europe, it is called steppes or taiga. In North America, it is called prairies. In South America, it is called pampas, selvas, llanos and cerrados. In Africa, they are called savannas and welts. In Australia, they are called rangelands or dawns. In New Zealand, it is called Canterbury. You will notice grasslands occur naturally on all continents except Antarctica because grass doesn't grow on ice. And then as you see in this map, grasslands are found both in the tropical region as well as in the temperate region. Tropical grasslands are closest to the equator and remain warm all over the year. And on the other hand, temperate grasslands are far from the equator and usually have warm summers and cold winters. The grasses of these grasslands hold the soil firmly in its place. That is why erosion is very minimal. The majority of grasslands around the world are found between 40 degrees and 60 degrees north and south of the equator. That means there are more grasslands in the temperate zone. That is why grasslands in general are also referred by the name temperate grassland. But then I have also said that grasslands are of two types, tropical and temperate. But then the majority of the grasslands you will find are in the temperate region. If you look at the temperature in the temperate region, as per the Köppen climate classification, it is somewhere between minus 3 to 18 degrees Celsius. That means the average yearly temperature in this region is not extreme because the meaning of the word temperate is moderate. Having said that, even precipitation is moderate here. In simple words, rainfall is just enough for grasses and shrubs to grow, but not for tall plants and trees. If you can recollect, I said in Africa, these grasslands are called savanna. Welds are in South Africa and South Africa is in temperate region. But then the rest of the African grasslands that exist in the tropical region are called savanna. Here, the grasses are a little bit tall because they lie in the tropical region. Compared to temperate regions, tropical regions temperatures can change greatly between summer and winter. That further means here the rainfall is little higher than temperate region because of warm temperature and moisture. In India, you will find grasslands near the lowland region of the Himalayas and also near the Ganga and Brahmaputra river basin. You will also find grassland on the eastern side of the western ghats. The eastern side of the western ghats is a rain shadow region. And moments back I said, grasslands don't need excess rainfall. Because if rainfall is high, then you will also have tall plants and trees. That is why you will notice that a hilly or mountainous region is a perfect rain shadow region. I have a separate video in which I have explained orographic rainfall. You must watch that video in order to understand more in depth about rain shadow regions. Anyhow, near a rain shadow region, the amount of rainfall is very low. As a result, here the vegetation is in the form of grass and not in the form of tall trees. So this was everything that you had to know about grassland. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.